Hey guys, welcome back. This is The Dantuga bringing you a brand new video for a game called Winyandari's Cry, which apparently is drawing inspiration from one of my favorite uh, animes, which is uh, Higarashi no Noku Koroni. And um, I really don't know too much about this. Um, TBH, not entirely sure what a Yandari is either, so hopefully the game will. Uh, give me some context for that. I mean, I've heard it, but um, I have no idea what the word actually means. <laughs> so, uh, let's get started. Oh, I can't use my mouse. Okay, I thought it said so. Cool. Okay, would you like to play the tutorial? You know what? Let's not. Let's just dive right in. That's how I like to play games. This story, or rather, my story, started about three months prior. I had a friend, a childhood friend, whom I fell in love with a very long time ago. After years and years of mustering up the courage to finally confess, I did. I took her to the park one day after a little bit of beating around the bush. My childhood best friend and I finally admitted our long-kept feelings for each other. It was the most golden time of my life. Her name was Miyamoto Mai, a beautiful angel disguised as my best friend, is how I would describe her. That's an interesting sentence. About a few weeks ago, Mai and I decided to spend summer on a mountaintop. We wanted to enjoy the company of nature and also celebrate our newfound relationship. Or, as he has spelt it, relationship. <laughs> he missed the N in that word. A little typo. That's alright. The days were filled with fun, and we both enjoyed the company of each other. After a few days, we got a few surprising visitors. A few girls from my school. Girls who are fairly close to me are also having a vacation on the same mountain. Uh oh, 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 that might be bad. Mai and I decided to spend the rest of the days with them as we've pretty much already enjoyed our solitary time together. Okay. The girls quickly became friends, and the remaining days were filled with laughter and relaxation. Wait, so did the four girls all come here separately? Or not, not together? Um. On our last night, Mai and I made a promise to meet under a certain tree at 9 p.m. It's a very specific number. I came half an hour earlier to make sure I'd be there before her. <clears throat> and so I waited. I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And waited, but she never came. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Just had a little naughty joke go through my mind there for a moment. It was around 11 p.m. 
when I decided to finally look for her. Wait, did he just say it was around 9 p.m. when he decided to look for her? Isn't that the time they said they were going to meet? So shouldn't she be, like, there? If you're wondering, was I able to find her? Then the answer is yes. Well, that's fantastic! I'm sure that there's going to be absolutely no horrible truth revealed about that. And that he's just going to find her. And the rest of the story is just going to be good and dandy. Despite the fact that the uh, the, the, <laughs> the main uh, the, the picture on the main menu looks kind of, you know, bloody. And yeah, and then there's that. <laughs> You know, how the, your title is dripping, oozing with blood. I'm sure that, um, things are going to turn out just dandy. Music's unsettling. Nishiki. I guess that's me. No! What have you... What have you done to my... Nishiki-san! Well, um... It was because... I really don't know if I have more than one voice for girls. Um, she was getting in our way, Nishiki Kun. It was her f fault for meddling with you. She, she had not done anything. And what the hell do you mean you've been meddling with me, you demon? Oh, didn't you know? Her heart was set on you. So, I had to take it. <laughs> it's because we love you, Nishiki-san. We've always loved you. Yet, she was always, 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 right beside you. I can't take it! Now, Nishiki-kun, give me your heart. I'll cherish it always. No! Come with me, Nishiki-san. I'll love you till the end. <laughs> no matter what. No matter what. Okay, there's a weird pause <laughs> there. <laughs> Both of you are sick in the head! Yeah, he just casually walks out. <laughs> this game's amazing. Panting. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> but... This can't be happening. No. This can't be happening. My. She may still be alive. She needs medical attention. I need to look for help. Oh my god. Is this my movement speed? Oh my god. Why do I move so slow? Small anthill. I don't have time for this. Be sure to interact with objects found in the area. Check your inventory for items that you find. Press X or escape to view the menu. Cool, cool, cool. Can do. Evidently, I don't have any items yet. But I will. 
Let's check the barrel. What's a barrel doing out here? Do you want to check it out? No. I better not check it out then. How do I save this game? How do I save? Before I start touching everything, I want to save it. The, um... This is a minor thing, but the aspect ratio on this game is kind of weird. It's like, uh, it starts off at like a... Like a... Let me, let me tell you exactly. By a 1273 by 713 aspect ratio. But then it's like nothing like that once you actually start the game. I mean, you still get the black bars, but only the menu is the one with the, uh... You go check it out. Yes. Garbage. Rotten food. Dead mouse. Oh, what's this? I found an old note. Hmm. What's this note? June 7th, 1931. I am on my way to a mansion hidden deep inside these mountains. A friend of mine recommended me as a maid to the very rich man named Raphael von Versailles. My friend told me that he is a bit of a womanizer, and that I should limit contact with him as much as I can, but the pay, it was too much to refuse. With just a year of working there, I could set myself a shop. Okay. Possibly support my whole family and my poor little siblings. I've made up my mind. I mean... It can't be that bad, right? Umi Nishimoto. I mean, how bad could it really be? Mushrooms? Will mushrooms kill me? I have no time to pick mushrooms! <laughs> so, am I supposed to look for a mansion? This hole isn't dug out recently. It's probably been here for years now. Can I climb up here? Deaths are always sad. I have to avenge my... Uh, I'm, I'm a little paranoid, viewers. I get the vibe that this is going to be one of the Everything Kills You games. There's a lot of them in RPG Maker. In the RPG Maker game community, there are a lot of uh, touch something and you die games. And that, well, that intro was so long, I want to find out how I can save it. Because I really don't want to have to watch that intro again. Okay, so is it going to be like a, uh, a maze? I have to go the correct direction every time, perhaps. Can I go up here? No, I cannot. Okie dokie. Alright, I'm back at the beginning again. What did I get? I had a key to what? Oh, it's just an old note. Alright, so I have, I have health, sanity, and insanity. Right now my sanity is at 100%. I suppose that's good. I have no plans on returning. Nothing seems to be hiding here. Okay. Man, what is with my movement speed in this game? So, I'm just going to keep going. And I'm back at the opening again. Okie dokie. Uh, 
you know, viewers, I knew that that was what was gonna happen. I knew it. and we're back so I'm, I'm gonna try to use the mouse I think that kind of helps the uh, the movement speed a little bit at least it doesn't feel as slow okay so over here we've got to pick up that note garbage rotten food dead mouse oh and what's this well, it's a letter we already read. Okay, so we now know to be careful of what we touch. You know, live and learn, live and learn. Alright, so that's obviously not the way. Perhaps it's this way. This way. Do I have to go back? I must have to go back the same way at one of these places. Alright, so let's try. Go here, and then we'll go back. Okay. Okay, so like everything seems to leave me back to the opening. Unless I can go over here. There's a path. Hmm. Evidently not. What about over here? Oh, it is a path. Okay. And that just leads me back here. <laughs> okay. Um... Is there supposed to be some kind of hint? That exactly what I'm supposed to be... What? What? Why did it work that time? Is that Yuna? Yuna! Yuna! Nishiki, what are you... Yuna, you have to hear what I have to say. Something really bad just happened. I couldn't believe... Oh, whoa, whoa, Nishiki, calm down. Tell me what's wrong slowly, okay? Ha, ha, what? See, Marcus, San, and Kiko, they tried to kill my... They what? They're coming after me, Yuna, and they'll get you too. We better run. But wait. An abandoned mansion. Yuna, let's go inside. They won't find us there. Nishiki. Why are we running? 
What do you mean, why are we running? I just told you. I could kill them for you. That's not a bad idea, actually. I mean, they've proven to be violent and dangerous. It might be what you guys have to do to live. What? What did you just say? I said I could kill them for you. Without them, nothing will come between us after all, right? Me, she, gi. <laughs> Why is she laughing, like, maniacally? You bastard. <laughs> I don't know, I always thought something about calling a woman a bastard that cracks me up. You're one of them! What do you mean, one of them? I only belong to you, Nishiki. And you belong to me. <laughs> Okay. Is she gone? Nishiki, open the door, please. Shit. Fuck off already. Don't even get any ideas, you bastard. <laughs> Nishiki, that hurts my feelings, you know. But I still love you. I'll see you later then. Nishiki. Okay. Looks she's gone. Finally. Now I need to find some. What? 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 Is it like the. Okay. That all kind of moves on its own there. Can I save it now? There's a note. Howard pasted here. Read it? Yes! April 3rd, 1934. A terrible incident occurred in this very mansion. In these very mansion? I'm gonna just go out on a limb here and say that this isn't, uh, English isn't this uh, developer's first language. In these very mansion, two years ago, there is an entity here. That we cannot stop nor seal. Our only option is to abandon this place and hope that people who reads this, oh god, leaves immediately. I can tell you no more, but please stay away from the shadow. Edward Warrenstein, paranormal investigator. I finally, oh, I really hope, no, that, that, what? I really hope that's not true. Well, that's not true. That thing was, like, really vague. This shelf contains some antique decorations. This shelf contains some antique decorations. Okay, well, let's go check out this room upstairs. Why can't I save this game, by the way? There's, like, a load option on the main menu, but... Save settings on? What do you mean? Save settings on. Like I could I couldn't save it before, but I can now? How? Okay. Just go places. What's this? This creepy doll has a button behind it. Press it? Yeah, let's press it. Well, this is creepy. Okay. 
don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I have no idea. I thought I was supposed to go find help, but now I'm just hiding in a mansion. Okay. I can't get down there. Alright, let's try over here then. Other blood stains on the walls. Okay, I guess I can't go up there. I would love to save it. I would really love to save this game. But I don't. Based on this diary, it seems the owner liked to read and paint. Okay. And I was that owner! I, I don't know. An old book. Nothing interesting here. This bottle of wine has been here for a long time. A very well made sculpture. I don't recognize the person, though. Yes! The clock? Okay. Yes. What? Is it the what? The the safe? You want to open the safe? Screen? Yes. Is this real life? Options. Save settings. Off? What? What is this? What is this? Why can't I save your game? Ah! 